Okay, so for today, we are going to talk about uh, progression in arithmetic progression, uh, calculator techniques, and we are going to just continue our study or our tutorials about calculator techniques. So for today, we are going to talk about progression and arithmetic progression. So we have several problems here, basic problems here that uh, we will be solving. So for number one, we have from the sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, and so forth, so on and so forth, find the 30th term. So if you are going to notice this, this is an example of an arithmetic sequence, okay, arithmetic progression, because uh, there is a common difference between the uh, adjacent numbers. So we have 1, 4, 7, and 10. So if we have 10 minus 7, that's 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So that's an arithmetic progression. Okay. So right now, we are going to find the 30th term of that using our calculator. So the very first thing that we are going to do here is first, we have to have the mode, then equation. Okay, mode 3. Okay, let's do it again. So mode, let's say mode, uh, mode stat. I mean mode stat. So mode stat, that's 3. And then we're going to uh, select A plus BX, the number 2. So first we are going to have a table here, X and Y. So I'm going to input the first two terms. Okay. So the first term is uh, X equals 1. And the value of that first term is 1. So I'm going to input the second term. And my value for the second term is 4. Okay? So once we have inputted our values here in our calculator, now it's time to uh, go back and press this AC. Okay? So shifting or storing the data we have uh, inputted in that table. We go to shift and then stat here. 1. Okay, then we click the regular or the reg number 5. And then we are going to enter the y hat here, 5. So we are finding the 30th term. Okay, so the value of the 30th term. So the value is the y, right? So that is 30th term. So we are going to write here 30 of 30th term. What's the value of the 30th y? And if we click equal sign, we are going to have 88 as our answer. So the value of the 30th term here will be 88. So that is how we uh, find the value of the 30th term. Okay. For the next example, we are going to reverse the problem. For, this, for the second one, we have problem number two. From the sequence 1, 4, 7, 10, and then in between, we have numbers because we know that this is an arithmetic progression. So we have 49 is what term of the progression? Right here, the, the problem is asking for uh, what term is, the, is this progression? Okay, so still, we will be having the same concept, okay? So, if we have shift stat, then we have the data. We can see here that the, the data, anyway, the, the example a while ago is the same. So, only that we are going to find what term is the 49. Okay? So, again, we, storing, but just in case that the problem is different, you have to store the first two terms. So, we have, for first term, we have the value of, uh, oops, we have a value of, uh, Okay, let's let's try it again. Okay, mode stat to abx. So we have one first term. We have the value of one also. Now for the second term, we have a value of four. So again, in our calculator, the value of x is the how many terms? Okay, what terms? One, second, third, and the value of y is the value of that in that term. Okay, the value of the uh, progression. Okay, so again, we are going to store this value. Click the AC. Okay, and then shift, stat, and then 5, reg. 
Then, a while ago, we, we clicked Y hat. Now, it's time for the X hat. Which means, okay, what term are we seeking? Okay, so four. So, since the, the value of the uh, question here is 49 is what term of the progression? So, we have 49. What is the term of the 49? That's like at, uh, what we are trying to enter here in our calculator. That's 49 what term? Okay, just like uh, that is the language of this calculator, what we are typing here. So, 49 is what term? So, you have 17. So, as you can see, okay, the value of uh, 49 in this progression arithmetic sequence is 17. At the 17th term, the value is 49. Okay? So, I hope it's clear. Number 3. If the first term of an arithmetic progression is 3 and its 10th term is 39, then find the common difference. So, this is pretty much easy in terms of calculator techniques. So, again, we are going to do the same thing. Okay, we are in the statis statistics mode, so we have mode uh, stat, let me just repeat, and then a plus bx, that's number 2. So we are going to input the given. So the first term of the arithmetic is 3. So we are going to input this as 1 and 3. First term is 3, for x equals 1, y equals 3. And then the other one is... 10th term is 39. So we have 10th term. What's the value? Input it manually. That's 39. So AC to uh, press AC to store the values. Again, shift, go to stat. In this case, that's 1. And then we have, uh, we're going to enter reg again. And then in this case, we have used y hat, we have used x hat. But to find the common difference okay, of this arithmetic uh, progression, we are going to use B. Okay? So, we are going to use B. So, we have number 2. Then, simply click the equal sign. Or, we have B equals 4. And that denotes that that is the common difference of that arithmetic progression. Okay? So, the answer here is 4. Okay, without using any of the formula okay for example you forgot the formula of arithmetic progression so it's very easy to uh, uh, have this okay um, perform in your calculator okay so how about the next problem let's try to have the next problem so the next problem is pretty much easy so find the 20th term in the sequence whose general term is 2 raised to n plus 5. Okay, 2 raised to n plus 5. So we are going to find the 20th term of this sequence. Okay, so of this given sequence of 2 raised to n plus 5. So this could be solved easily by, okay, going back to the calculator, we got the mode. Okay, and then we have to have what? Uh, table here okay the table of values so mode and then table we are going to table uh, mode okay so we have f of x of course this n as the variable we are going to replace with x okay so just type in the general term 2x 2 raised to x plus 5 then click equal sign g of x just skip it so the calculator will will ask you what values will start. So, you enter 1, okay, and it will end at the 20th term, okay? So, it means that he will get or the calculator will get the values from the first term up to the 20th term. So, okay, and then the step is, let's just uh, input 1. So, the step is meaning 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the step is... In, in, in the difference of the uh, values are in terms of 1, okay, the step. So, let's just stick to 1. And then, here we are. We are, we are going to see the, diff, uh, the different uh, values of here, of the x term, and the values of the 
f of x of the of that sequence. So we are asked to find for the 20th term. So here's the 20th term for the x and that f of x would be 1,048,581. So among the choices, we have 1,048,581. That's letter A. All right, so that is getting the 20th term of that sequence. And now for our last problem, we have find the sum of the first 20 terms in the sequence whose general term is 2 raised to n plus 5. So this is technically the same, but we are now asked to find the, for the sum of the first 20 terms of this sequence. So in order to do that, we need to have summation. Okay, so mode, computation, mode 1. So we can do the summation part of this. So shift summation. Then we enter 2 raised to x. Of course, converting the ev converting that n into x always because the calculator, many of the calculator uh, terms are in terms of x. So that would not be a problem since we know that this x is n in original. So we have first 20 so from x equals 1 to x equals 20 so the calculator will uh, will repeat the process of adding this 2 raised to x plus 5 from x equals 1 to x equals 20 and that's what we are after because the problem asks us to find the sum okay and this summation okay formula will take care of the uh uh, process okay let's try to have enter to press enter and there we have the summation of the first 20 terms of this general term 2 raised to n plus 5 will be 2,097,250 so that would be our answer and Again, guys, thank you so much for listening. I, I hope you learned something from this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and to share my videos. Okay, And uh, for more tutorials, you can visit my playlist and my YouTube channel uh, personally and try to see the playlist, of course, in calculator techniques and in any many other subjects. So thank you so much, guys, and I hope you learn again. And God bless.